object detection and recognition using features. In this section, we will implement a basic object recognition program using feature matching. First, we look at a generic approach to object recognition. Then we learn more about features and descriptors which we are going to use. After that, we will learn more about feature matching and homography. And we will finish this section by building an application which will be the full code. Working with object recognition. In this video, we will form a problem definition and look at its assumptions. We will know about the data set which we are going to work with and come up with a block diagram for our algorithm. What is object recognition? It's basically finding and identifying a known object in the given image, whether it's present or not. It can be unique such as barcode of a product or generic such as ball, like it can be baseball, basketball, tennis ball, etc. As you can see in this image, the computer has detected a person, dog and a chair and drawn rectangle boxes around it. It has a wide range of real-life application in surveillance, manufacturing industries, face recognition, etc. These are just on the top of my mind. There are many more. Now let's define our problem. That is, which object are we going to recognize? For this, we take a data set of brand logos from Hanzu. It contains several images of 10 different logos of clothing brands. Just go on the citation provided and you can access the dataset. So here is how you can access the images and logos from the dataset. Now we have a problem statement, we have the data. Let's devise an algorithm which is the most important of all three. There is a conventional object recognition algorithm established in literature which uses feature matching to detect objects. First we take an object image, that is the reference image of the object and we find its features and its descriptors. Now the features can be anything such as shift, surf or others. Then we take a test image. Now this is the image we want to test whether object is present or not in this image. And we do the same, that is perform feature extraction. Further we match the features and its descriptors in these two images. Now if the matched features are more then the object is present and if not the object isn't there. Thus we take a decision based on the threshold matches and obtain the result. If the object is present, we can also apply homographic transformations between the matched points to obtain the position and transformation of the detected object. 